All right, folks, the world is a hot mess. I think that's a technical term. Let's face it, I mean, golly, things and actually look like they're going to get a lot worse before they even get better. Uh, and America is bitterly divided. Right now, we've got these bad actors around the world, in fact, openly plotting to assassinate a presidential candidate from one of the major parties here, ICBMs. We wake up to them flying all over the Pacific. And, of course, reports now Israel preparing to have ground troops uh, active, active in Lebanon. The needle has been, though, pointing in this direction for a long time. This is not necessarily new. And many think it's, uh, it was reflected in the surge, the price of uh, gold. Uh, many attribute it to is, is an early proxy for monetary and geopolitical dystopia. So I want to bring in our next guest, Rebecca Walzer, Walzer Wealth Management President, also Fox Business Correspondent, Madison Allworth. And I just got to give you props because at least for three years, maybe longer, <laughs> you've been saying, hey, the world's going to hell in a handbasket, paraphrasing. Yep. Load up on gold. Yes. You have made your clients a lot of money. Well, since 2020, we knew that we had never had that level of printing globally in the history of time and that it was going to have an impact and that people would have to revert to hard assets again and gold will be a winner. Absolutely. Still saying it. Still, keep, keep absolutely. On. I mean, like your just guest just last said, he expects 5,000. So, yes, absolutely. It's still, it's not too late. All right. So I want to stay on this, uh, this, this government and, and what's happening around the world and, and, and the big government stuff. Um, Madison, it's, it's not getting any better. It feels like, you know, this whole dystopia thing is a real thing. Uh, maybe a few years ago, no one would have thought, but it does feel that way. Absolutely. And I mean, I know one thing we wanted to talk about was the Telegram CEO, because right. we do have the news. Telegram now, they say they're going to give more data to governments for criminal activity, right? But the reason that this came about is because the Telegram CEO was arrested in France. And because of that, now he's out on bail. But t explain to me how... The governments in Europe want to say, give us information from criminals. And by the way, the way we're going to do that is by turning you into a criminal. Right. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. These are the folks that we're supposed to trust with that data. You know it what's doesn't amazing? Well. Ukraine sends a lot of their communications out on Telegram. A lot of people do. <laughs> yes. And, and, and I, I wonder, Rebecca, could it get so bad, honestly, that at some point a Western government arrests Elon Musk, for instance? Well, that's the scary thing, is if you're going to basically arrest the CEOs of these companies because they're not providing you whatever government censorship or whatever data you want to go after individuals directly on a platform, if people don't feel like they can be themselves and have free speech on a platform, they're not going to use the platform. And then that makes it irrelevant for the government in the first place. But we cannot have these governments arresting our CEOs of platforms that are supposed to be our free speech platforms. Well, it looks like it's working because they're going to give up more, more data. Hey, all right, it's not just governments, also big, big companies, right? This story blew me away. NatWest, a big bank out in the UK, they launched a carbon footprint tracker, right? And you say, okay, maybe that's cute, you know, it's, uh, the, the, because they want to fight climate change, but this thing went really far. <laughs> it, would, it would urge you, it would say, hey, listen, you know, it would scold you if you bought, like, beef or dairy, it would suggest that you get rid of them, maybe bring in non-dairy or plant-based stuff. Uh, they put pressure on their customers to partake in Veggie Mondays. I mean, Madison, this is your generation. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I, it is so alarming to me, Charles, when you guys sent this story. I could not <laughs> believe it because talk about Big Brother, the idea that they're tracking, not just, you know, there's talk in the U.S. of doing this with guns, but now they're saying doing it with meat because of carbon footprint. It bothers me for two reasons. One, the same CEOs, if you will, or, you know, executives at these banks, they're flying all over the world yeah. on their private yeah. jets, which, by the way, is the <laughs> biggest contributor right. to, you know, global warming. I guarantee warming. you, the CEOs, you go to the executive lounge, they're probably eating steak every day. Absolutely. Every day, like Al Gore. Yes, Just and then the, the problem is, you take this one step further, okay, right now they're tracking, what if they start locking your card right. when you're at the butcher? That's my concern, and right. we're increasingly going cashless away from those hard assets. This, this was the scary thing, Charles. They would use their bank card, and their bank would see that they were buying steak and be that invasive to <laughs> pop up, oh, maybe try a, a, a bean alternative burrito or something. Like, like, literally giving you that kind of information. And this is why cryptocurrency, digital dollar, is something that we need to, like, literally have massive agreement with because this is what the government can do when they start controlling all the, all the actual transactions. And what's really amazing to me is free market stuff. If you look at the share of Beyond Meat or oat, uh, you know, the oat milk or whatever, those have been, they're down like 95%. There's no demand for this stuff, and they're going to force it down our throats. Exactly. All right, so Artificial we're living damage. in a real crazy dystopian world. Everyone's worried and afraid, but we do have some good news. The typical American lives only 18 miles from mom. We're going to put up this chart <laughs> because, uh, you know, my mom passed away a few years ago, but uh, it's just a beautiful thing. I, she lived with us for a long time. Now, I will say... 
Those folks in the Plain States, they're 44 miles away, so they're, they're made of tougher stuff than us in New York, <laughs> only eight miles away. What do you yeah, they've got the this? horses. Well, they, they're, far, they're far away from everything. You want to go to, like, the grocery <laughs> store, it's a journey. My friends, like, out in, not the same area, but Minnesota, like, they would drive hours to get to friends or to, you know, right, so it's right. just a different world. I got yeah. you. you got to be close to New York because everything is close. But yeah. I think this is beautiful. I moved... I mean, I got a great job, but I took this job in part because I wanted to be closer to my family in Jersey. Family is everything. Yeah. And at least we get that straight in this country. That's Yeah, good. I mean, you know, Rebecca, you're a, you're a mom. And, you know, I, my son just moved to Miami, but before that, all my kids, all three of my kids lived in 40 minutes of me. I love that. And I think that in times that are difficult, you're going to lean on family more than ever. So, uh, you know, make sure that you know where your family is, and especially as the election gets closer. So, <laughs> so bottom line nervous. for you, family... A lot of gold, and what else? Guns. <laughs> <laughs> Real money, not uh, not digital dollars and cryptocurrency that's coming. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's um, it is a tough time, and the, ir the irony of all ironies is the stock market doesn't care because as long as there's money coming in, whether it's fiscal stimulus, monetary stimulus, that's why people can't equate the stock market with real life sometimes. That's right. Doesn't always match up. Ladies, Two different thank you Americas. Both very, very much. So true.